Hello, welcome to a new video. Uh, just to quickly present a feel fine. This one was found in the curve, uh, just like you are seeing now. Kind of dirt. The case have a bump here, but you can uh, put the metal back in place. And aside of missing the frontal audio port there, the case looks uh, intact. So. Putting aside what is inside, I'm going to recycle the case. And according to the side panel, it should have an Intel G3220. Some RAM, DDR3, hard drive, DVD, and the brand of the case. If we look inside, I already removed the, the cooler. It was barely hanging on. Uh, by two of the pins. Uh, no thermal grease, aside the very thin lean layer still uh, attached to the heatsink of the cooler, but no thermal de uh, here, so I, I didn't clean up this. And everything was already disconnected, so yeah, maybe somebody tried to troubleshoot this before, maybe this is dead, who knows. And we have a uh, 4 gigabyte, come on focus, come on, a 4 gigabyte uh, DDR3 stick, so yeah, even if this only, the only thing working, I we, we are already happy, so yeah, I'm going to disassemble, come on focus again, disassemble everything because yeah, the case uh, looks like it was pissed by a dog or something like that. I'm going to disassemble everything so I can clean, clean up the case <coughs> on the side and see uh, if any or what or what we are seeing here works. So let's see. Well, uh, here we have it outside of the case, the memory and the board with the CPU. Here is the original cooler. You can see the bit of original thermal. A paste, greasy layer, yeah, but yeah, I hate this mounting system, so I'm going to just use my uh, DUI makeshift cooler, if it was uh, good enough to test an E3 processor, it's going to be good enough for a dual core. So yeah, everything is connected with my trusty Testbench PCU going to test the PCU later, uh, in theory this should be the power on connection uh, let's see if we have any sign of life or it's completely dead or yep, yeah, let's see well, it's getting power I don't see oh, 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 it cut off Oh, interesting. Starting again. Was I well able to see a glimpse of the EC8 Elite Group? Well, okay. So, yeah, the temperature reading is not exactly. Fine? What are you telling me? But... Okay. I'm going to pause for a second to double check, but... Since we are, have a live system... USB, with priority... Where is the advanced? Oh, quiet, normal... That's at the auctions. Okay, normal language. I go to advanced. Date and time looks correct. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure about the time of the day, but yeah, it's pretty, pretty correct. I don't want to say completely, but pretty correct. Uh, so, press a head status, enter here. CPU, uh, yeah. I'm going to check that just in case. Uh, okay, I'm going to turn it off for a second to double check the cooler, but we have a live board. Yeah, double check it, the cooler is barely getting any warmth, so let's 
going to restart and the mirror should be maybe an issue with the cooler than I use in not having the, the sensor, probably. We're going to do the same. That is not an abnormal behavior. There are some boards that do that. A small startup and just there they do the proper one. So, yeah, aside not trusting on all the readings, maybe taking the first read and after that just show that. But we can see the voltage, we can see everything and seem to be in working order. Again, yeah, we can see here that it's reading the RPM from the cooler, hearing the voltage, and it's reading the memory, but it's not updating the temper for the processor, so I think it's a, maybe a problem with my makeshift cooler. I can restall this to, to see what happened, but yeah, in theory, we have a working machine, so I'm going to cut the video again for a second. I'm going to grab my oct one of my optical drives to try out Canoctis, see what happens, and if it looks fine with Canoctis, I can be, uh, make this a, a small restoration video. So, yep, yeah. I'm going for the jump, and we are going back with the optical drive. Well, sadly, it looks like I was celebrating too soon, sometimes it can happen, because I even installed again the original cooler in a proper way to see if they were having an issue with the board not reading correctly the sensors, but now we have this issue. Oh, I don't want to start right now. You were seeing before that the board was starting for a second, restarting and giving an image. Now it's either or not wanting to start at all. You can see, not giving too much of a case here. Or starting and shut it down, giving image for one brief second. And it looks like the problem is getting worse because I cannot get the board to start the door right now. <laughs> oh, there we go. So yeah, that could be also a problem with the CPU or a problem with the VRM of the board. Did you see? Shut, shut off. And now, it's trying to do again. Let's see, we have image for a second. And you can sometimes see the monitor exiting on standby and there the board shut off. But yeah, and now it's not starting again. So yeah, I'm going to check CPU, PCU just in case, and see what happened. But yeah, maybe the reason is that the board is half dead and that was the machine was abandoned because of that. Um, we are back. Uh, sadly, the board don't cooperate much. Either it doesn't respond or it works for a few seconds or a few minutes like it was at the start and later it fails to keep, it, to keep working or turning on again. Sadly, I don't have any more 1150 processor. I was confused for a second. I have several to test, but there are 1155 processors, not 1150. So sadly, I can stock uh, with this board. Okay, uh, I found this in the street, so no, not much to worry about, but kind of frustrating to not have another CPU or board to test the, the parts. Um, in in my opinion, I suspect it's something from the processor size because if you remove the CPU, the motherboard turns on just fine. Obviously, it doesn't work. And nothing gets too hot, just get, it just uh, keeps warm. Um, yeah, I'm suspecting a bit more from the CPU than from the board, but again, sadly, I don't have 
anything to test. So, uh, I grabbed this board, as you watch my outdoor testing video, it was one of the uh, present there, that you can see is working. I am testing the 4 GB RAM stick with it, uh, almost completely one pass now. And since that the RAM is working, so 4 GB of DDR3 RAM is already a win, given the prices of that here. So, yeah, I'm really happy with that. And by the way, I was wrong in that video. I was expecting an Athlon 5150, but instead I got a Sepron uh, 2650s. Anyway, not so bad. It's a very basic machine. I already prepared it to work as a basic system, so you can see, uh, and works perfectly. So yeah, not bad uh, regarding that uh, that board in the house. And um, okay, I will keep the running the memory test for a bit to ensure that the bank works correctly. So happy with that. Now I am checking the PCU. Uh, as you can see don't look so terrible inside it's rather clean so I am wondering either if the machine was cleaned up for uh, the previous owner trying to fix up the machine and it didn't work or the machine didn't work for so much time before breaking have my doubts the more dirty part I have I have found in the system is the secondary cooler in the case as you can see more dust cake on there we are going to test if the cooler work in a second and even the original CPU you can see under the blaze it has some dust but I have seen far worse so yeah kind of confused uh, regarding how much the uh, intensity use of the machine was seen before having a problem. It's the original uh, PC of the case, you can see Kanji there. Um, yeah, let's go to try out that now. There we go, we are doing a quick test with the tester before using the PCU tester. Already connected the green lead with one of the black we have the black ones and put the tester so let's see what happens oh, it's turning on oh the tester is maybe loose yeah because the lead are break, breaking 3.4 it's a bit high but not horrendous. Let's see our terminal. I do have to pass for a second. There's in now one of the 12 volt leads. 12.2, yeah. Look fine. So let's move to the PCU tester. And the cooler seems to be working fine, so yay. With a bit of cleaning, we have a nice cooler there. Uh, let's see what the tester has to say. 12.2, 12 12.2, 12 5.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 3. They agree that they, they, they uh, output in 3.4 there, so yeah, a bit, a bit high. And the start up time is higher but yeah it's changed a bit there but it seems to be rather in the strong side rather than the weaker so in theory and the cooler sounds fine in theory is a nice PCU maybe not so weak so yeah oh we can see that the memory is doing a pass 
I'm going to complete another one and see what happened. So yeah, sadly the board or the CPU is kind of dead, but the PCU seems to be in working condition. Let's turn off. And the memory seems to be fine. Regarding the case, I don't think that it's so interesting for the video. It, the case looks rather intact, aside missing the front audio uh, port there. But with a nice cleanup, it's going to be a nice case to reuse. So yeah, quite happy with the with the feel fine. Sadly, I was one to the main component to be in working condition, but yeah, that is not always the case. But again, no so bad. A uh, working cheap PCU with a nice case. I only have to clean up uh, and a DDR four gigabyte DDR three memory stick. Um, maybe even an auxiliary cooler that if keep working after after cleaning cleaning up is going to be nice for the case yeah in order to do the DDR2 there is that this all meant as or is something like that but it is DDR3 so yeah thank you for watching this quick video and see you in the next one Jesus Christ you can <laughs>